Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Space Astronomy 2 Let's Play series. You might be wondering, why is there a laser going through my head? Well, I can answer that question. I've been doing some stuff out of episode and this thing is... I think it might lose power. Oh well, I don't really care. This thing is extremely annoying. I'll get to that in a second. It is called an atomic reactor. It sounds dangerous, but trust me, it is completely fine. So, first thing is first, I believe. I enchanted my armor. I have some protection form breaking through mending, then just some breaking to mending. Uh, I made this enchantment table. I don't know if I did this, if this was done in the last episode. I don't think it was, but if it was, I apologize. And I've been doing some research. These, oh dear. Lag. Lag. Oh no, please. I was just about to make a point. I was just about to make a brilliant point. Okay, so anyways, like I was about to say, I was doing some research, and these lava generators are terrible. You might be thinking, oh, why are they terrible? The thing is, I'm pr they produce less power than I need to make lava. In order to make lava, probably need around 30,000 RF per bucket. And this may... Wait. Never mind, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking there. But basically, this thing generates power. But not as much power as I was really wanting, basically. So, what I've decided, and I expected them, I expected them to generate about, like, 30 RF per tick. I don't, honestly, I don't know why I was expecting that, but really, I was doing some research, and I found a much better power source. And here, no, and here, no, and here, yep. So, basically, I was laying out Dragon's Breath to see how many of these generators I can make. I was thinking, why don't we make some, uh, what are they called? Combust? Wait, it was, like, combust. I don't know what they were called. Let me do generator. Um, did a bit of a furnace generator tier three. These things will generate, uh, will generate uh, power just as fast as lava generators, but they use coal, and coal can produce can be produced just as easily as obsidian, except it doesn't need to be processed like obsidian does. So there is no power in well there's a tiny bit of power inefficiency, which I could probably solve. But that's pretty much fine. And yeah, yeah. I was I just felt really stupid because I made all these tier uh, MK3 lava generators and really uh, there's a much better power source for mod pack we have now. Oh, and out of episode, I did set up some things. So first of all, I set up some emeralds. I need to get my keys out to lock those. So I have two emeralds. I put that. I planted down an emerald plant. I also switched out all of the ores that were previously there for infernium. I also made some wither seeds, which farm wither essence, which is being crafted down in my little machine's room into with your skeleton skulls and with the infernium this is not the infernium that we're generating uh, this was then I went AFK and then I basically made it so that the infernium gets compacted into this superemium so I've been compacting the blocks but that takes forever super Wait, wait. Su no. <laughs> yep. So basically, it compacts it into this stuff. In order to make it, you need superior essence. So in order to do that, you need this stuff and this stuff and this stuff and this stuff. And yeah. And you might be thinking, well, if you you need an infusion crystal for that, which has 500 uses. Well, think again. I managed to make a master infusion crystal, which has an unlimited durability. If we just pop down the stairs and see all of the crafting action here, you can see that I have a master infusion. Basically, uh, it takes this and turns it into that, and it turns that into that, and then it turns it into this, and then into this, and then it turns it into a block. That's how it basically works. 
Um, I believe that is actually everything. And you might be thinking, why do, uh, what is so important about the Wither Skeleton Skulls and obviously Nether Stars? And in order to ha to produce coal extremely quickly, because we have 28,000 coal. That's a lot of coal. But I want it really, really quickly so we can generate an absurd amount of power. And so what we need is we have growth accelerators, right? Which it makes the which will make the coal grow faster, right? We also have worms, which will occasionally bone with the plants, but that's not going to be enough. You might think, oh, use a growth crystal. Not enough. Use a tier 2 growth crystal. Probably enough, but I want to go all out, and I'm going to use a tier 3 growth crystal. For that, I need a dragon egg, which I have, and a tier 2. And in order to do that, I need reinforced obsidian, which I can easily make. And... I I need an end crystal which I can also easily make. Um let me see here. I already have crafted a growth crystal, but the reason why I need nether star is because I need a reinforced watering can which I need nether store uh nether star for. And I also need a compressed nether star block. So let me show you how I'm gonna do this. Why don't we just uh, I need ten nether stars in total. Why don't we just do that quickly? Why don't we just get those quickly on camera? So basically, I crafted up some reinforced obsidian, which is basically bedrock, and it's basically a block that withers cannot break through. And it is super uh, um, overpowered because with it, you can create um, a cheat, a cheaty nether killer. So it's, no, it's uh, right over here. So all I have to do... This is very cheaty, but, you know, this is modded, and I don't want to have to manually kill withers, so I just do that. Get back here. Oh, by the way, out of episode, I made a Supremium sword. Uh, I made this awesome sword that does 41 attack damage. I had to make it, I had to ma get another star to make it, which was probably the difficult part. You see, hold on. Look at that. Oh, look at its health, just deteriorating. This sword is amazing. Okay, there we go. That's one nether star down. And this will probably take just a little while. And actually, I believe... Oh, yes, he does. He actually drops some... Supremium Essence. So let's kill one more. I just want to verify that because I'm pretty sure... The Ender Dragon dropped some Supremium Essence too. Oh, maybe it's like the harder the uh, or the more health the mob has, and the more supremium essence it has, because the wither, yeah, yeah, drop two. So the wither has like, how much health does the wither have? That's an, that's a question that I don't know the answer to. I believe like 150, if I recall, 300. Fantastic. And the ender dragon, no, the ender dragon has 150, isn't it? I don't know. That's weird. For some reason, the ender dragon drops more essence than the wither does um maybe it's just because like it was that was manually coded in because the dragon fight is actually much harder than wither fight because with a wither you can just do this and you can get loads of nether stars nether stars so yeah i will be back once i am a step closer to uh, making this amazing power uh no yeah power source Okay, everyone, so I am back, and it's actually quite a while. Lots of stuff has happened since the last quip, quip clip, and, uh, part, and that's mainly because I don't know what really came over me, but it's just a sense of, like, procrastination and laziness, and, like, it's probably two days since that clip, and I was just, I don't know, it was weird. I just felt awful, and, like, I wanted to be productive, but it's just the exact same time I wanted to be lazy and then that took over and it's, just, ugh. it's hard to explain but I'm back now and I have loads pretty much almost everything we're going to need in this episode so I have I made the growth crystal tier 3 I made 6 unbreakable yeah 6 unbreakable maddox which are basically a f which are basically hoes I have some dirt I have some farming stations. Um, I have some energy conduits. I have some item conduits. I have some growth accelerators, some worms, um, and some dirt. I'm about to go grab some solar panels as well to power temporarily power this thing. 
Oh, I also have coal seeds. Now, this is going... Um, this growth crystal, um, I just drew a little sketch of it just to, so I could see it and f work out, uh, how many layers of farms I could have. Apparently, okay, six, there we go. Apparently, I can have, um, six layers just to be safe. So, that is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to place this down separate, because this is where I'm going to be making the farm and it is lagging very very bad come on come on come on can you please stop lagging sorry my voice sounds a bit weird i haven't like talked too much at all today and i i've been working like a lot just grinding away getting all this stuff done and it's tiring like i was i've seriously been doing quite a bit so, I believe just under, okay, that is dark. I believe this is an appropriate level. So, how about, so how about the centers on this block? So, then we need to go out four blocks in each direction. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four. I'll have to cover this up. So let's just go like this and extend this off. Just a minor terraforming. I've done quite a bit out of episode, but I'm probably going to go over that in the next episode because that's some stuff. I want to focus on this for the time being. So let's get back under here. And I'll have to clear out, uh, I'll have to terraform some more. It just came over me. So I'm going to hollow out an area which we are going to place this farm in. And I will see you in just one second. Okay, everyone. So I hollowed out a quick little area. And now my inventory is going to be clogged, which will be rather annoying. So if we place this down here, there we go. And get some energy conduits. If we just place these like so and connect this this should not receive any power because it is currently not daytime and what we can do is we can go ahead and put that in there and some seeds there we go and I need to replace this with dirt because it needs to be farmland and actually this is not going now that I think about it this is not going to work because I need a capacitor, because at the moment it will only do a three by three, um, a radius of in three blocks. But that's okay, because I can easily get one of those. And so, <clears throat> and so, what I want to do next is I want to get my worms here. I want to place one there, then go one two there, one two, one two, one two. And the good thing is they till all the ground for you so one two and constantly keep it watered one two one two then now all you have to do is place one here and here there you go and why don't we go ahead and get the growth crystal started so i believe i actually i believe i actually took some notes hold on let me go get them okay okay i have my notes here so uh, I need to go, let's see, this would be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then it should be, if I'm not mistaken, which I probably am, right here, the growth crystal, let me place it down, now, let me see here, it should be... Should be that, oh, oh, I can fly. I forgot that I can fly. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. No, okay, it's one block too low. One block too low. It probably would have been fine where it was, but I don't want to take any chances. So, it should be right there. Should be. Yeah, yeah, that seems accurate. And, so now... Once it becomes daytime, things should hopefully be working. Let me just 
Let me put my notes back. And there we go. It was just a quick little sketch of how it should be and how where everything should be. Now I need to do two more things. I basically need to... Oh, I forgot my jetpack's on over mud. Uh, you know, I might as well just show you what I did out of episode. So, I neatened up all my machines because it was driving me crazy. I made an ultimate furnace. Um, I made a seasoning rack for leather. I made... These are loads of machines that I made for this refined obsidian stuff this is very useful because it can convert sand to soul sand i made it like very early on i just didn't know how to use it and i now know how to use it slice and splice alloy smelter sag mill circuit fabricator and electric compressor i'm pretty sure i've showed you those five energy storage capacitor bank uh storage with the storage um that this i use this to make my sword that my super awesome sword right here. I converted the farm from. I'm pretty sure I told you, but I converted the farm from the valuables to the infernium. To infernium. I also added uh, wither skeleton skulls, blaze rods, and emeralds. And I want. Uh, since I'm using quite a bit of cobblestone, I want a relatively decent um, or large supply of cobblestone. So I made this cobblestone generator. Which, yeah, I believe it's out of power right now. Ooh, we have some, some septuple cobblestone. Basically, these cobblestone, these are cobblestone generators that all push out all of their cobblestone into this crafter, which then crafts it and compresses it. So it crafts the cobblestone into compressed cobblestone, the compressed into double compressed, the double compressed into triple. I think we're fresh out of triple. The triple compressed into quadruple, the quadruple into quintuple, uh, the quintuple into sextuple, yeah, sextuple, and the sextuple into septuple. So we have two of those. In order to, this is basically what is that? Four mil, wait, four million seven hundred eighty-two thousand nine hundred sixty-nine. So that's like almost five million blocks of cobblestone there and then it is that once we get nine of these it's going to be made into this uh, octuple compressed which is then going to be filtered out uh, through this chest and it is going to be sent into the storage system uh, I was very eager I'll be honest and I couldn't resist because I really want to do f refined storage so just to get all that eagerness out I started now I made very little progress so basically I made a controller and I made these soldiers and refined storage is like a technical mod and it's where I where you get all of these hard drives that can store items and it requires power so I just gave it some basic power to just see how it all worked so the soldiers are used to make like different types of let me do um, what is it called at refined there we go so the soldiers are used to make um processors and then advanced processors and all sorts of stuff so basically let me just show you so the soldiers it can be used it's just used to craft a lot of things using the mod and then these disk drives can basically hold these discs i accidentally made a whole bunch of 1k disc by accident so now if you, you can, I, need, I think I need a few more machines, but what I could do if I had a few more machines is I could input however many amount of storage I had on disk into those disks. So say this, I believe I counted and I had like 50,000. I could load 50,000 items into that. So I have a bunch of disk drives which can hold diff, uh, like storage units. And I, I think I made way too many. I believe, yeah, this one is how you make it. This had some advanced processors, which, you know, you have to put some silicon in there, which is easy enough to get. Or you, and then I need this, which is just a diamond. Very simple. I have some supplies in here. I went on a wither killing spree, and I got like half a stack of nether stars. It's because I was bored. And is that everything I've done? 
in between clips. Not out of episode, in between clips. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I believe that's everything. So I'm going to, ooh, let's see. Let's see how this is doing. Quickly check, on, check up on it. And yay! Yeah, just just as I, just as I, oh dear. Oh, that's bad. Um, okay, so what I need to do is, oh dear. If I place these blocks in right here, here, because this needs light. I didn't think about this, but if I place two blocks up here, just like that, I can place a torch right here, which should constantly keep this thing lit. So I'm going to get this layer finished. I'm probably going to do uh, most of these layers out of episode anyways. So yeah, I'm going to get this layer finished, and I'll be back a few uh, to sign out of the episode. And let's see how quick... These things are growing relatively quickly, and we don't even have the growth accelerators in, which is very impressive. Like, the growth accelerators normally make it, normally are the reason why these grow fast. But that's, so that means the growth crystal does make them grow, okay? So I'm going, well, actually, I, I'll just, I'll just finish these things off of the episode, but anyways... That is, if I can hit F5. Oh, by the way, all of these, if you see this around, this is where I've been trying to get worms. Because in order to get worms, uh, you can't, you have to tilt land. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I was bored. And so I just went around opening loads of chance cubes, which are, bas which are basically like lucky blocks, if you know what those are. And um, they're a different, like, version sort of I was opening up some giant um chance cubes and I think it turned like a bunch of area to like wood and stone and dirt and stuff it made this giant village and made these towers of ores and I don't even it gave me loads of oil from um galacticraft which is a substance for rocket fuel and uh it kind of like took all of this away and it's lagging. It took all of this away, and I believe it just moved all of the land um, to above me. Oh, this is annoying. I hate like when it's it's worse when I'm recording because the fact that I'm recording just makes my computer just run m much slower. It's just okay. There we go. So it just moved all of the stuff and flipped it upside down here. I guess that's kind of handy in a way but it's just kind of weird just thinking you know looking up here and just thinking you know if this was the normal way around i would be on that side like i wouldn't be and it's kind of weird like the roof is more is weirder than the um the floor and it's just ugh. it's just kind of weird to think about uh, and I also got some lava over here, which gave me quite a bit of obsidian, I guess. Why did I just, I just, I just went out mining so much obsidian. Just think of how much obsidian is right here available. Like, seriously? Oh, that would have saved me so much time. But anyway, so that is going to be the end of the episode there. Can I please? Why isn't my F5 working? There we go. So that is going to be the end of the episode there. I hope that you have enjoyed, and especially if they'll come back for the next episode. Bye! Boing! Up, up, and away! Up, up, and away! Up, up, and away!